In the mid-1990s, a program to measure the expansion rate of the universe was underway, known as the Supernova Cosmology Project. This project was led by Saul Perlmutter, who was asking the big questions about the future of our universe. Will the universe continue to accelerate forever, or will it slow down? How will our universe look in the future? What is our future? To measure this expansion rate, Saul and his team used a certain type of supernova to measure how distant galaxies were from us. These are known as Type 1a supernova, and are the result of an exploding white dwarf that has gained too much mass to contain itself. The useful thing about Type 1a supernova is that they explode with the same brightness every time. So, depending on how dim the supernova appears to us from Earth, will depend on how far away the supernova is. When observing distant galaxies, this technique can be used to determine how far away that galaxy is. At the time, the most accepted theory for the expansion of the universe was that it had a fast beginning but was slowing down due to gravity. As the universe aged, gravity would slowly pull all the mass back together, ultimately halting the expansion rate. However, what Perlmutter found was that the expansion of space was not slowing down at all. It was speeding up. How could this be? He double checked and triple checked his data with other distant galaxies, but everywhere the results were the same. Whatever was happening, it was happening across the entire universe. Finally, he put these values into Einstein's field equations, the equations that predict the distribution of matter within space, and found something strange. From his numbers, he calculated that the universe had a negative mass. In other words, there was a kind of anti-force that dominated across the universe, pushing matter apart. What he found shook the scientific world and is still one of the biggest mysteries in all of cosmology. Dark energy. When scientists first discover something that they can't see, they usually call it dark. They decided to name this unknown force dark energy, which is a terrible name. It isn't dark as such, just unknown. The first thing to learn about dark energy is that it exists in minuscule amounts. In fact, in every cubic meter of space, there lies only 10 to the minus 27 kilograms of dark energy. This is about the same amount as four hydrogen atoms. You probably think that this amount is pretty much nothing, but here's the difference. Dark energy's density is uniform across the universe. This means that it exists all across the universe, not just in concentrated clumps like matter and dark matter. It's everywhere. It's in the room you're watching this video, and it adds up. The most recent measurement of dark energy has shown that it counts for over 68% of the universe. Because of this uniform concentration, it is a lot easier to think of dark energy as a property of space-time itself. Where there is space in the universe, there is dark energy. And this also ties in with the idea of an accelerating universe. While dark energy can be thought of as a kind of anti-gravity that pushes matter apart, a better definition is that it expands the very fabric of space-time. As dark energy stretches space-time, the matter within it is diluted and the overall density of the universe is reduced. However, this doesn't apply to dark energy. As more space is created from expansion, the dark energy content is not diluted at all. It's kind of like stretching a piece of fabric without ever reducing the thickness, and this is why it can be thought of as a property of space-time. You can stretch space tenfold and dark energy's density will never decrease. Where there is space, there is dark energy. The amount of dark energy is always increasing, and it never stops. In fact, this very phenomena might have been predicted by Einstein in his theory of relativity. When Einstein was forming his theory, he needed to make his equations work for a static universe, one that was unchanging. What he found was that his theory of gravity would cause all of the matter in the universe to be pulled back together, causing a non-static universe. So, he incorporated a constant value, known as the cosmological constant, which would counteract the force of gravity. However, when Edward Hubble observed the universe to be expanding in 1930, Einstein dismissed the cosmological constant, and it later became known as Einstein's biggest blunder. But what if it wasn't? What if he had predicted something else? Dark energy. When dark energy was first discovered, physicists were forced to reconsider the idea of the cosmological constant. 
In a twist of irony, it has since been reintroduced back into Einstein's field equations to account for dark energy, and so Einstein's greatest blunder has been rectified. But while the cosmological constant is the best mathematical explanation for dark energy, there is still no theoretical explanation for how or why it occurs. Our best explanation for dark energy is that it comes from vacuum energy. Vacuum energy is a quantum theory that states that even in a space devoid of matter, there are virtual particles. These particles come into existence in pairs of electrons and positrons, which have opposite charges. Because of this property, they immediately annihilate each other and release small bursts of energy all throughout space. This seems like an outrageous idea, but it has been proven to exist in many experiments. The problem with this theory arises when physicists try to calculate how much energy vacuum energy contributes to the cosmological constant. Vacuum energy's contribution to the cosmological constant, compared to the mathematically accepted value, varies with a factor of 10, with 121 zeros on the end. This astronomical discrepancy between theory and experiment is the largest in all of physics, and is still unexplained. Another point to make is that perhaps our understanding of gravity is wrong. Unfortunately, with the discovery of gravitational waves in 2015, Einstein's theories of gravity have been proven correct once again. But we shouldn't discount this idea. It is like how Newton's gravity isn't wrong, it was just missing the full picture. It could be a new layer of complexity that Einstein missed that could solve this riddle. Unfortunately, we simply don't know for the moment. Dark energy, along with dark matter, are two of the biggest unexplained mysteries in all of cosmology. While we have mathematical definitions for them, and even measurements of their prevalence in the universe, there is still no theoretical explanation of how or why they exist. However, with teams working across the world, such as Saul Perlmutter's, to solve the dark energy problem, the solution will come sooner than we think. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to learn how dark matter and dark energy will control the fate of the universe, make sure you subscribe for that video. Until next time, goodbye.